Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today once again we have a video with the latest developments of Canon's R5 Mark II camera, but this time it's something different. In this video we take a very close look at all the technical features of this camera. This camera has a lot of potential, and I'm here to reveal all the interesting details that we know and don't know so far. Before we get to the video, I would appreciate it if you quickly press the subscribe button below. Now let's go to the video. The original R5 was undoubtedly a groundbreaking camera for wildlife photographers. The ability to autofocus animals and subjects so quickly was incredible, and it was quickly adopted by many. But technology is evolving rapidly, and the R5 is still a bit outdated compared to new flagships like the Nikon Z8 and Sony A1. So what can we expect from the R5 Mark II? Let's start with the basics. We're dealing with a 45 megapixel sensor, the same as the original, but with a brand new Digic processor. This could mean improved color science, sharper images, and better noise reduction, especially for JPEG shooters. Now, the rumors suggest a whopping 60 FPS burst rate. This might come with some limitations similar to the Canon R3, where the camera locks up during the burst, making it less useful for tracking moving subjects. We're hoping for a more practical improvement in the standard burst rate, maybe around 30 FPS, to keep pace with the competition. One of the most interesting rumors is the lack of a mechanical shutter. This could indicate a super fast sensor readout, potentially a stacked sensor like the R3, but with higher resolution. However, this could also mean limitations with flash sync speed, which is crucial for portrait photographers. It's a trade-off we'll have to see play out. The R5 II will feature a 3.2-inch flip display with OLED technology. This means better contrast, brighter images, and better visibility outdoors. It's a small detail, but even in daylight you'll notice how prominent the screen is, especially if you're shooting outside. This camera isn't just for stills, it's shaping up to be a video beast as well. We're expecting 4K at 120fps, perfect for slow motion and wildlife footage. We'll also see 8K support even at 60fps to keep up with the competition, but this information is not certain at the moment. And fingers crossed for compressed video options besides RAW to save on storage space. The R5 Mark II is entering a competitive landscape, going head-to-head -head with the Nikon Z8 and Sony A1. Key areas of comparison will be autofocus performance, image quality, video capabilities, and of course, price. By the way, speaking of price, the body-only price is expected to be around $4,000. Given the competition already in the market, we don't think the price will move much. In our previous R52 video, we talked about the price and release date, but there is a detail that we are closer to this camera now. We first said that we would see this camera in 2023, before the middle of 2024. And at this point, a few days after we publish this video, we can say that we will see this camera in late April or early May. The Canon R5 II has the potential to be an incredible camera, but it faces stiff competition. We'll have to wait for the official release and real-world testing to see how it truly performs. So would you prefer this camera? And if so, what would be the main reason? Let us know in the comments. By the way, before ending the video, if you are going to buy a camera in 2024, it does not necessarily have to be R5 Mark II. Subscribe to Photomica below. That's all for today. Take care until the next video. Happy shooting.